This is Keith Berkelhammer, and this is Reef Bum TV. Facebook Live is a really cool tool to broadcast live events to friends and family, and the easiest way to do so is using a smartphone. But what about using a DSLR to capture really high quality video for a live event on Facebook? I was motivated to find a better live video solution for my saltwater reef tank since video from my smartphone was just not cutting it. One big problem is aquarium lighting, and a DSLR with its sophisticated white balance features makes it much easier to dial in authentic colors. Anyway, I decided to go on a quest to figure out how to use my DSLR, a Canon 5D Mark III, as my live camera for Facebook. I did come across a few different solutions, but some did not appeal to me since it required expensive video capture cards, as well as a pricey live streaming software, such as Wirecast, which costs 500 bucks. Ultimately, I found a solution utilizing free streaming software that did not require a video capture card. You do need to connect the camera to a computer via a USB cable, so I did have to invest 26 bucks in a 50-foot USB extension cable to reach both my display and frag tanks. The only other thing you might need to buy is a power cord for the camera to keep it from dying during a long broadcast. You will also need a fast internet speed, so you should have at least 3 megabits per second upload speed to broadcast live. To check your speed, go to beta.speedtest.net. And you should also have a fast enough processor on your computer so it can encode the video before it makes its way to Facebook. As the title of this video states, this guide is just for Canon DSLRs, specifically Canon EOS DSLRs, so my apologies to you folks with Nikons and other cameras. I did spend a lot of time researching this, so if you are the persistent type, I do believe it is possible to find a similar solution for other cameras. Okay, to get this to work, you will need four different applications. I use a Mac, so the links I am providing are for OS X. You will need the Canon EOS Utility, Camera Live, Cam Twist, and Open Broadcast Software, or OBS. If you have a Canon EOS DSLR, then you should already have the EOS Utility. If not, then you can follow this link. One note of caution, I upgraded to the new Sierra operating system for my Mac and ran into problems so I had to downgrade back to El Capitan to get this to work. You do have to prevent the utility from launching every time you turn the camera on, so you will have to make one slight change to the configuration. Go to the icon at the top of your screen and click on it and select Do Not Launch EOS Utility automatically. The next steps are to download the Camera Live, Cam Twist, and OBS applications, which you can do by visiting these pages. You will then need to configure Cam Twist by opening up the application and selecting Preferences. Set the frame rate to 30fp and the video size to Custom with 1920 by 1080 as the aspect ratio. Once you have all the apps loaded, you should close out each one and follow a specific startup procedure. The order of this procedure needs to be followed every time you live stream video with your DSLR to Facebook. Step 1 is to open up Camera Live. You then connect the DSLR to the Mac with the USB cable and turn on the DSLR in the video mode. Next, start up Cam Twist. Click View in the menu at the top and then Main Menu. Double click Siphon under the Step 1 menu and then select Camera Live as the Siphon server. Next, minimize both the Camera Live and Cam Twist apps. You then go to your Facebook page and you click on Publishing Tools at the top, then on Videos on the left hand side, and then on the Plus Live button. If you don't see Publishing Tools on Facebook, then visit this page and click on the Broadcast on Facebook Live link. Okay, next you find the Stream Key and you copy it. You then open up OBS. Click on Settings, click on Stream and paste in the Stream Key. Make sure you have Facebook Live selected as a service. Click on the Video tab and make sure you have the Base Canvas Resolution set to 2560 by 1440 the Output Scaled Resolution set to 1920 by 1080 the Downscale Filter at Bicube Sharpening Scaling 16 Samples, and the common FPS values set to 30. 
Click on OK and then click on the Start Streaming button. You may see some black space around your video, so if that is the case, you can eliminate it by selecting and dragging the red border around the video to resize it and fill up the entire screen. Next, go back to your Facebook page and click Next underneath the Stream key. At this point, Facebook is fetching your live stream, so while it is doing that, you can fill in a description, title, and tags for the live stream. You're not in a live mode yet, just a preview stage. Next, crank down the volume on your computer's speakers. If you don't, then you will get some bad echoing on your live audio feed. And one very important thing to note, don't totally mute the volume. If you do, then it will cause the stream to buffer and pause. Just go with one bar of sound. You are now ready to go live. Just hit the Go Live button on Facebook and enjoy your high quality DSLR live video stream. Many thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be alerted to my latest videos.